I didn't think you'd be so terrible at horseback. <laughs> Come in hot, Rifted. <laughs> <laughs>
Why are you so reluctant to show me who you are? Does he really not know? I, I'm not particularly re reluctant. I just wasn't a asking about things. Halt. Fair enough. Let me just say it one more time. I, I just wasn't a asked about things. Fair enough. Tell me about your likes, dislikes, and your thoughts. Well, well, why don't you go, go first? You don't talk much about your, yourself either. I'm certain I've said more about myself than you have, though. Well, fine. Allow me to show you some chivalry. I like horses, wine, and greasy foods. <laughs> Truth be told, I like anything that's filling and pleasing to the tongue. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, what else? Gold, jewels, fame, powerful weapons, the usual masculine things, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you hate? Liars. Whoa. And incompetence. Chill. <laughs> I've seen too many pompous scums who flaunt their unmerited stations, and even more vermins who've deceived others to take advantage of them. I'm sick of those people. Your turn. I... I like what, what most people like, too. You know that's not a fair answer. As I mentioned, I like animals. Dogs, cats, horses, and ch chicks, and rabbits, too. What else? I, I like reading. I spent most of my time at Croiso Castle in the library. Rodrigo did mention you spend most of your time in the library here. That's true. That there are so many rare b books Though Ru Ruth uses them as his blanket. Shall I drive the rascal out? I never hear the end of it if you do. You two seem to get along pretty well now. <clears throat> he helped me greatly with refurbishments. He, he's fussy and nags, but he's a good person. You're right. He's a talkative nitpicker, but he is an upright fellow. What do you hate then? You'll need to answer that for a fair exchange. The thing I hate the most. Clinch. M myself. What? I, I hate myself. The final episode what? of season one will be updated on August 10th, 2021. Cliffhanger? Cliffhanger, y'all. Wow. Oh my God. Wow. The minute they started getting intimate. I know. In a non-sexual way. Something going on with Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least she's coming out of her shell. She's yeah. a little bit. We're learning more about her. Yes. Um, I think Rifton is just such a bold, you know, no blunt filter. guy. Yeah. No filter. Just straight up. What do you like? What do you not like? Yeah. And uh, tell me more about yourself. Yeah. I like it. I like it's a... giving first date, but they're married, but I'm into it. Yeah. <laughs> We've been married. Yeah. I like at the end how almost all of our interactions with Rifton is he's been in control. Mm -hmm. And then at the very end, he like genuinely surprised and didn't expect mm. Maxie to have that answer. Mm -hmm. And we've never seen that type, that side of him. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Right. He was kind of off guard. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe he just doesn't understand how to hate himself. Because he's so like cool and cold and, you know. Mm -hmm. But also, he puts Maxie on this pedestal, so he sees her in a different way than she sees herself. Mm -hmm. True, mm -hmm. yeah. It's like him, her saying that, he's like really taken aback by yeah. it. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. It's really sad. It is sad, because it's not fair to him, obviously, because like he's in a relationship with an idea. Mm -hmm. Right. He's, it's not fair to her, because now she has to fill up these expectations of what she should be for him. Mm -hmm. And it's like, that's not a relationship. Right. The problem is if they've stopped self-talking to themselves and talk to each other, which exactly. they're doing now, mm -hmm. we'll see some progress. progress. So I guess progress. let's uh, see this progress in the next episode. But before we do, as always, can we just go around the table and say who we're playing this episode? Yes. I'm Ren. I am continuing to be the narrator. <laughs> I'm Sam. I'm still rifting. Ashley, and I'm still vibing. <laughs> um, I'm Olivia. I'm vibing, and I'm Maxie. Ooh. Ooh. I'm Andrea, and I'm still reading along with you. <laughs> I am not vibing. <laughs> Poor record. Riften. Poor Riften. All right, let's let's uh, let's see where this conversation goes. All right, we're back to under the oak tree where the horses are chasing each other and... I love the horses. Love it. <laughs> Whoa. Let's take a break here. Huff, huff, huff. 
Breathe. I can practically feel your heart pounding. Reach. It, it's as if there's a tiny drum beating in, in me. Lift. Mm. Mm. His grin. That's Aww. an adorable metaphor. Mm. Oh. Russell. Uh oh. Oh, through her eyes. It, it's lovely here. It's much nicer in the spring, with wildflowers covering these green fields. Spring in Anatole. Come closer. It might be too chilly for you. Aw. Lean. Now, where's that shy side of yours from earlier? Rummage, rummage. I brought some wine. Ew. Slush. <laughs> Sip. I'd like some too. <laughs> Ray. Gulp. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I like it. It's a good choice. Why do you hate yourself? Oh, I, he really just said. Right. Just said. <laughs> Has one sip. <laughs> Has one sip. Starts going crazy. Rating <laughs> um, Maxie. I was hoping you. I was hoping he wouldn't ask. Haven't you ever hated yourself? I have. <gasps> Countless times. <gasps> But it was never to the point where it's my first answer when someone asks me what I hate. Oof. Well, that's because th there's nothing to hate about you. You think so? I I'm sure you know that better than anyone. I can't say that I do, so enlighten me. Y you're so s strong. You're the most powerful n knight in the world, tall, Clever. Clever, huh? That's a first. I've been told I was a lumbering oaf pretty often. <laughs> you, you wouldn't be so so revered if that re, you wouldn't be so revered if that weren't true. Hmm. Perhaps. What else? <sighs> <laughs> you, you you're honorable. Have great leadership and peep. Oh, he's so hot. And you're handsome. You think I'm handsome? Oh, oh, of course. I know you know that. How was I supposed to know that? I, I have eyes too, Riften. <laughs> and they can see what everyone else sees. Clutch. You'd shudder every time you'd see me at Croiso Castle as if I were an ogre. It's not an expression one would make to convey admiration. Even a wrinkly goblin's face wouldn't have elicited such a look of horror. I, I never seen a goblin before. <laughs> That's not my point. <laughs> you looked as if you'd faint if I were to so much as take a step toward you. Th That's because I, I was scared of you. You're so much bigger and you seemed callous. You, you always had this angry look on your face. Do I still scare you? Reach. Oof. Oh, he didn't want her answer. <laughs> oh, Rifton, I, I, um, not out here. Shut. It's fine. It's just us here. Titan. Even if someone, even if someone were to approach us, I'd be able to tell right away. Trust me, I will never hurt you. Oh, Grace. Oh. They're talking again. Mm. Oh. Barry, it's time to talk. Mm -hmm. You smell like winter. <laughs> Beautiful tree. It's all right, Maxie. I won't hurt you. Ever again. He too smelled like the brisk aired winter wind. Russell. That same smell engulfed me completely, and I wondered, when did he ever hurt me? Why was I ever so afraid of him? Nothing came to mind. <clears throat> oh boy. Well, there's lots to unpack here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Any initial thoughts, feelings? I think he really loves her, but I, I mean, he just always goes for it. I think he, he I think it's like what Ren said, he's in love with the idea of her. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I think he loves her. Remember when he was like admiring her and the cat? Like I feel like he. Mm -hmm. I don't think he opens up to a lot of people. No. He's mm -hmm. very like masculine alpha male guy. Mm -hmm. But I think he is trying to get to know her. Mm -hmm. He's like not letting her half-ass like her answers and stuff. And so 
I don't know. I like that. Mm -hmm. I want to know where what's happening with Ruth. <laughs> oh my god! Can someone explain <laughs> to me what happened. You had to be there. You okay. Were. Cool. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, what's happening? I'm like, yeah, know. with Ruth. Did you guys fall in love? I'm no, still I'm Team Riften. I'm just saying other people may have been. Okay, are you still not Team Riften? Half Team Riften? Things are getting so cute. Are you kidding me? <laughs> she didn't <laughs> open up to Ruth like this. I know, things are getting really cute, but. Did you see the way Ruth like stood in front of her in that one scene? I, I don't know. This is what they want us to feel. This I'm... is what they want me to feel. <laughs> for Ruth and not for Anna. <laughs> Wait, is that the end of season one? Yes. yes. That's how it ends? Yes. yes. Oh, wow. Under a tree. Not the under under the, tree. Not, not the oak the tree, tree, but yeah. under a tree. Mm -hmm. But the oak tree was introduced to her by Ruth. Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, so that is the rule under the oak tree. I, I okay, rest my but, case. I rest my case. Okay, but, but can you even love someone if you don't love yourself? Yeah. yeah. You think you can? I think if so. you don't love yourself, you can love somebody else. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know, I feel like you're never going to be able to enjoy the what they see in you if you can't see it in yourself. I, I think right. cuz love is like complex because you can be dealing with love for platonic and romantic. You can be dealing and learning about yourself, but like I still love my nieces and nephews, I love my parents and things. They're not um, I think to a degree they're exclusive and stuff. So you can still receiving give love. the love. Well, that's on a diff that's with love language, but you can still give it. Yeah, cuz I feel like she's not able to receive the love from Rifton because mm -hmm. she doesn't necessarily see it in herself. But she still yeah. can love. Yeah, because you can know your like love language of how you give to other people, but not know what you actually accept as love. Because I can tell she's like, she's still slightly still questioning if he truly loves her. Mm -hmm. or if and I she's think- like worth of it, like worthy of love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is a whole different thing in itself. Yeah. yeah. And I think Rift, Rifton doesn't know how she accepts love, so he's just thinking what he knows right. how to give. Mm -hmm. Right. They're really just, they're getting to know each other and themselves through this entire mm -hmm. story, I mm -hmm. think. And it's really beautiful. beautiful. It's yeah, and journey. like you said, love is complex, and it's nice to not be like, they were arranged marriage and now they've fallen in love and right. now everything's perfect. And yeah. it's like, no, like we all have our own inner battles and inner demons that we... Then when we come together with someone else, we're dealing with theirs as well as our own. And, mm -hmm. and I think it's a good sign because I agree with Ren that he likes, he loves the idea of her, but I think the, it shows that he's not leaving it at that because right. if, he already, if he already loved her to that degree, he wouldn't be asking all these like mm -hmm. right. questions. Mm -hmm. But I think he might not be aware that he just, there's more that he wants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she told him like his, her deepest secret, which is yeah. that she hates herself. Right. Wow. He's still like wants to be with her. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that means she trusts him enough to hold that deep, dark secret mm -hmm. with her. Um, yeah. Things are getting deep, y'all. It's getting deep. Under the oak tree. tree. <laughs> this is the last episode of season I know. one. Oh, what a cliffhanger. What? <sighs> I need to know more. About Rift and Ruth. Both. <laughs> <laughs> Both. We'll find out. So since this is the last episode of the season, like let's kind of like recap everything and we've come so far with Maxie and Rifton. Definitely. Maxie especially, I think she's just grown a lot as a person. Yeah. And learned a lot and is open to the opportunities of learning more about herself, about, you know, ruling a castle, the politics of it all. She's grown a lot. Getting I'm, a little more confidence. In yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy that she is in Rifton's land, where she can be herself. Mm -hmm. And um, in the, one of the episodes, she, you know, gets introduced to everybody. Yeah. And she's like, wow, I've never, like, felt this much warmth before. Even the castle is, like, kind of cold and stark, but um, there's so much, like, love and kindness. So I think that was really, really sweet. And she's, like, becoming friends with so many people, like Rodrigo and the servants, mm -hmm. and um, Ruth. <laughs> oh God, I love it. I just I know. love how this like, this punishment, if you will, because this arranged marriage ended up becoming her salvation because yeah. she's being married to Rift and she's able to go to Anatole and like find out who she is and like mm -hmm. fall in love and like discover herself and challenge herself. And it's so interesting to see where she started. Mm -hmm. 
to where she is. I mean, she's still a little meek, but at least she has, she's gaining the confidence and she can talk about what she wants and like feeling comfortable with somebody else and getting friends and taking control. So she's doing like a complete 360. Mm -hmm. And I think is gearing up because she's gonna have some magic and yeah. something's gonna be happening in season two. So exciting. Yeah, I, I think she has magic. I think so too. Yeah, yeah. And I think um, they're probably gonna talk more about I hope more of oak tree stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, like yeah, the mythology of it magical. All. So, yeah, we don't know if it comes back to life yet. Oh yeah, no yet, mm -hmm. right? It's, they just... that, did I miss this one? <laughs> oak tree? You did. Yeah. You were out slaying yeah. dragons, cool, cool, cool. and mm -hmm. we were out here reviving the oak tree. With magic. Right. Cool. Getting friendly with the magician yeah. and Ruth, yeah. apparently. Yeah. Ruth is the magician. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you had to be there. You had to be there. Yeah, this is a really nice, like, yeah, oh, look so cute. Yeah, they're oh, so yeah. cute. Whoa, <laughs> what about so Ruth? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so oh we believe um, the oak tree, which, what is it? Um, the nymph and the. Um, Sir Wigram. Or Sir, like yeah. Sir Wigram are like symbolic of uh, Riften and Maxie. Mm hmm. And it's like this whole history behind the tree, what the tree symbolizes for the people. Mm -hmm. So um, um, Ruth tried to restore it because everyone loves the tree and what it's symbolic of. And we don't know if it comes back to life. It's kind of like that the rugged like tree they had in the garden. Mm -hmm. So we'll see, I guess, in oh, spring yeah. if, if flowers bloom. And if they do, magic, magic. magic. Yeah. And we discovered that Maxie might have a little bit of magic in her too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cool. She has potential. So most love stories end with a marriage, but this one begins with a marriage. So I'm so excited to see what happens in season two. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm still Team Riften. I know there's some division amongst this table, <laughs> but I am still fighting for this marriage and there's so much left to unpack. So finally, we get to read episode one of season two. So be sure to stay tuned with us. <laughs> I don't know why I grabbed my iPad. <laughs> <laughs> it was a choice. I was, I'm excited. That wraps it up. Be on the lookout for other episodes. And season two of Under the Oak Tree is out now. So make sure you're following Manta on all social channels. Make sure you have the Manta app so you can keep up on everything. And we'll see you next time.